Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Okay lang ba yung audio? Okay, thumbs up po. Hello? Okay lang po ba yung audio? Okay. So, let's start. Magsimula na tayo. Magsugod na ta. So, wala pa rin yung speaker. So, ako lang muna yung mag-take uh, over. So, mabilis lang ito. No? So, yung topic ko ngayon is about the wealth formula. So, by the way, my name is Lorenzo uh, Leonardo. I'm uh, one of the financial educators of IMG. I'm already 12 years uh, as a financial educator in IMG. But before IMG, I used to work with one of the multinational company in the world. I am into software development and I'm into research and development before. So let's talk about the wealth formula. So this is my certification. So I got this two years ago uh, from the Registered Pencil Planner Philippines. So uh, after my engineering career, I proceed as a financial educator uh, profession. So let's talk about the wealth formula. So this is the basic wealth formula. So we have money, uh, we have time, uh, rate of return is positive, negative, inflation, negative, and tax is negative. So I will elaborate each of this. No? So one of ingredient of wealth is money. So if we don't have money, if we don't have income, so we cannot build up wealth. So the first thing to do is to build our income source. No? So it could be a job or in, in, in any business. So if you have money, make sure uh, we also have time because in growing money, we need time. Kasi lahat na sa atin, especially Filipinos, are victims into investment scams Kasi hindi nila binavalue yung time. Kasi gusto nila kita kaagad, pay out kaagad after one month. But actually, real investment, it involves time. no So hindi yan mabilisan. So any businessman, Henry C., Gokung Wei, Lucio Tan, most of their businesses takes time before they, they build that wealth. no Tapos, Rate of return bucket, plus and negative. Uh, it could be negative kung meron kang utang kasi yung utang merong interest. Diba? Babayad ka pa sa interest plus the principal so money working against you. So kaya negative. And if yung investment mo, uh, let's say, example, yung stock market bumagsak tapos pinag-withdraw mo yung investment mo, doon ka malulugi. So right now, Bagsakan lahat ng stock market, wag mo i-withdraw. Actually, it is good to add right now because uh, when the stock market drops, lahat ng mga companies right now, uh, yung price per share nila is uh, very cheap, no? Nagmura. So, actually, sale ngayon kung alam mo. Pero positive kung, let's say, after the COVID, tapos yung market natin bumalik sa normal, so yung na mga nag-invest ngayon talagang kikita yan sila no positive tapos inflation ano yung inflation uh, in layman's term yung purchasing power of your money no lumiit example uh, example of inflation uh, let's say McDonald's uh, what do you call that McDonald's uh, Value, uh, let's say the value meal of McDonald's, example, uh, 2008, uh, it cost around 50 pesos. But right now, as I check, it, it is now around 89 pesos. So, yun ang inflation. Bali, over time, yung mga prices nagmamahalan. No? So, mag-ingat din tayo dito sa inflation. Tapos, yung inflation natin sa Philippines, in a 10-year average, is around 5 to 6% per year. Kaya nga, if you invest below 5%, uh, 
actually you're already losing the value of your money. Then tax is also negative because talagang babayaran natin si tax kasi importante yung tax para sa ating uh, government no para sa mga infrastructures saka mga projects para ikabubuti at ikaunlad sa ating bayan. Yung natira is yung wealth. So, meron akong trivia sa inyo. Among the three person who is wealthy? Mr. A who earns 1 million a month, spends 1.1 million a month. B Mr. B earns 500,000 a month and spends 500,000 a month. Or C who earns 20,000 a month but spends only 15,000 a month. Diba? Medyo tricky itong tatlo, diba? Because uh, most of our uh, perspective, if we look at A, wow, ang yayaman ni A, malaking bahay, magagandang kutsi, diba? Yun, 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 yun ang perspective natin. But hindi, hindi mo alam baka yung cost of living niya is more than 1.1 million. So, after a month, di ba, meron pa siyang utang 100,000. Kaya nga, meron ako makakilala na nga magsa, uh, sabi nila na malaki talaga yung bahay ko, sir. Maganda yung kotse, pero marami kaming due date, no? Maraming juice, monthly juice, kasi magaganda talaga. So, more likely, Mr. A, kung tingnan mo, no? They are earning a million but they they spend more than a million. So kung totoosin mo, di ba? Negative 100,000 a month. So actually below poverty line pa siya kung tingnan mo sa in personal finance. Si Mr. B earns 500,000 a month and spends 500,000 a month. Pagkatapos, walang savings. Kung tingnan mo si C, parang wala. Di ba? Tingnan mo, uh, maliit lang bahay, uh, walang sasakyan, pero ito lang yung cost of living niya, 15,000. So, meron pa siyang 5,000 a month. So, if, if C knows how to invest that extra money, eventually C will become a multimillionaire later. Uh, after my topic, this 4 p.m., uh, the next speaker will talk about how to let that money grow through compound interest. So, kung makita mo si A at saka si B, they are living a luxurious life, pero wala naman silang peace of mind. Di ba? Tingnan mo, si A, meron pang utang 100,000, pero si B, walang savings. What if yung 500,000 a month ni B biglang nawala? Especially ngayon na COVID. Nawala. So wala ng source of income. Tapos walang savings. Saan siya sa pupunta? Di ba? Marami, marami tayong mga kilala. Especially ngayon mga seafarers. Marami akong kilala. Seafarers ngayon. Walang, walang trabaho. So walang kita. What if walang savings? Di ba? So at least si C, di ba? Ordinaryo lang yung pamuhay niya. Pero meron siyang 5,000 a month na invest So, tingnan mo, so, sino ang wealthy sa tatlo? Di ba? So, si C. Kasi meron siyang positive. Kasi yung wealth niya, positive yung wealth. Hindi negative. No? So, truly rich people are not the one who needs the most, but the one who needs the least. So, if we talk about money, no? Biblical yan, di ba? makita natin sa Bible kung di ba yung si si Panginoong Hesus Kristo hindi niya gusto yung materialistic na tao di ba but actually the truly rich people are not materialistic people because they have money so ito poverty is not like of not, not lack of time it's it is mismanaged time kasi each one of us has 24 hours a day pero bakit merong iba uh, bakit umaasin? So yung iba hindi. In fact, dito sa IMG, meron akong kilala who is earning 8,000 a month but was able to save 2,000 a month. No? Meron din akong kilala na factory, factory worker lang siya noon sa Mitsumi. Ngayon, bak bakit nakapag-ipon? 
yung iba earning 100,000 a month hindi nakapag-ipon. So let us uh, reflect and check check our lifestyle no. Baka ma malaki yung lifestyle natin kaya hindi wala tayong ipon especially ngayon COVID tapos mataas yung lifestyle mo. So at least dito sa IMG uh, it is a life uh, changing event talaga kasi dito for 12 years marami talaga kung taon kilala na earning 100,000 a month pero walang savings. Pero merong iba na earning 8,000 a month pero was able to save. So meaning it is about mindset no parang may problema sa mindset so yun ang gusto natin i-change dito sa IMG yung mindset ito poverty is not lack of money it is mismanaged money kasi meron ding kaming kilala na who retired from San Miguel who retired 10 million pesos ngayon wala ubos lahat kasi nagkasakit na tapos walang proper healthcare walang proper foundation kaya ubos ubos pa rin yung 10 million no so so if you check, di ba? Kung what if malaki na yung cost of living mo na meron ka pang sahod ngayon, what if suddenly yung sahod mo nawala? Do you think that your your you and your family can survive? No, na meron na kayo sa yung lifestyle mo mataas na tapos biglang nawala yung income, di ba? Parang stressful yata 'yan. So at least dito sa IMG, at least tulungan natin yung tao para Para kung meron naman sila income ngayon, at least uh, i-diin natin yung disiplina para meron silang savings. Okay? So money talk, this is the strategies of the wealthy. Most people spend money and save, save what is left. So no, most people. But wealthy people, they save money and spend what is left. It doesn't matter how much they earn. It, it is about how much we keep. Most people considered healthcare and insurance as an expense. But wealthy people considered healthcare and insurance as an investment. Most people work hard for the money. But wealthy people let money work for them. So what is the difference between the wealthy and the most people? The difference between the wealthy and the most people is the way they think about planning their future. So kaya nga dito sa IMG, lahat ng mga topics natin is about mindsetting, is about discipline kasi meron uh, tayo Pilipino, marunong naman tayong mag-earn ng income pero yung problem lang is how to manage that income. No? So sa next speaker, this 4pm, uh, they will discuss about how to let money work for them. It doesn't matter how much amount. In fact, you can you can already save around 1000 pesos, no? But the next speaker will teach you that. Okay? So, hopefully, guys, uh, this is a wake up call for us. At least uh kung meron ka mang mga kilala na hindi pa naka-attend nito, at least you can invite them in our next session kasi yung sessions namin ngayon is regular sa online kasi wala tayo nasa quarantine kasi tayo lahat no nasa bahay so at least naman uh, we can reach out uh, most of the people kasi nung meron talagang silver lining si COVID kasi nung wala si COVID maraming tao hindi nakikinig kasi busy sa trabaho pero ngayon lahat ng tao nandito sa bahay so more likely they will uh, can listen to some of, of the tips and some financial concepts Okay, guys. Uh, that's that's it. Uh, we will wait for the next schedule.